Welcome back to Small Caps, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kerry Stevenson. Bringing with me today is AD1 Holdings. The CEO is Brendan Kavanagh. The ASX code is AD1. And really what they are is it's a range of software solutions. Think of it as software as a service. We're going to talk about what they're doing, what they're doing with New South Wales Victorian governments and how they're growing their business and why it is of interest right now. Brendan, great to see you. Thanks for joining me on Small Caps today. Great to be here, Kerry. Thank you for the welcome. Well, this is the first time we've chatted. So as I always ask, give us a brief overview on who is, who are AD1. So uh, Kerry, AD1 is, uh, is we're, we're listed, as you mentioned. We're we, uh, a portfolio SaaS business that are focused on uh, providing a range of products across the HR technology services area industry and uh, also niche products. And um, we've got a product in there, um, a business in there called Utility Software Services and it provides uh, billing um, products for the uh, uh, electricity services industry. Um, but if I just touch on on the first, on our, on our core products being in the uh, HR technology area, we have, we have three businesses in there. So if you think of AD1 as the listed entity, as the holding company with a portfolio of businesses, that's us. So uh, across the three HR technology businesses, and I'll name them, Apply Direct is our, um, our uh, oldest business, and that's the one that we originally started with. And Apply Direct provides um, recruitment solution software to both, uh, you know, large, large organisations. Our two largest customers are New South Wales Government and uh, Victorian government. And what we provide for them is um, an inbound white label career site platform that facilitates direct candidate sourcing. So if you were to Google a job in New South Wales, might be train driver, it could be nursing, for example, in, in Victoria, what would happen is you'd be redirected um, to, to a website where you could read about New South Wales government and all the different 54 different departments, for example, that they support. And uh, you could then click through and apply for that job. That That's our technology that supports that. Okay, I'm going to interrupt you for one moment to ask you this. Um, what were they doing beforehand, New South Wales Government, and why was your software um, a valid thing for them to be using in this sector? I'm just curious as to, I guess, why they couldn't do them, it themselves and, and what your service brings to them. So this particular product, and, and we will move on to the others, but this particular product, it aggregates brand and enables a large organisation to send one message to, to the market. So this is who we are. In the past, it was very disparate. Um, okay. So you had different departments all going out individually with their own brand um, and there was no central point of contact or way of getting the data. So a government, in this case, could could analyse how many jobs have we got open, are we filling them, how long are they open, what's our message to the market, who are we? So it was the Ply Direct that built the product um, that enabled all of that messaging to be filtered into one portal um, through, you know, what, what can be known as a career site, which then, uh, and internal jobs board, which then gets pushed out to market. So it's a great experience for candidates. Um, that business in the last 12 months processed, um, had 7 million visitors and processed 1.3 million applications. So wow. it, it, it serves high volume. What we've learned, if I move on to the next one, is um, that there's the, the market is very fragmented. I don't know if you've applied for a job, Kerry, you probably don't need to, um, <laughs> but lots of people are. And, you know, if people are um, looking at, you know, reading newspapers or listening to the media in any way, there is a big, big changes going on in the employment market. We we have many uh, open jobs, uh, more, more open jobs that we have available candidates out there and people are switching. Some people may have heard of, um, you know, the, the big move away from jobs and choosing and it's a jobs boom and all those sorts of things. But it is fragmented and it is a difficult candidate experience and it's difficult for organisations to attract talent. So it's very difficult to attract talent. It's also very difficult to retain talent. What our products do is they um, support organisations through product, so a platform to attract talent, giving them control back to how they do that. Um, and then they also, we, we provide um, through a platform called Art of Mentoring, um, development opportunity through mentoring, which then is proven um, through evidence and science 
to um, improve retention um, of by 1.5 times mm. under a strong mentoring program. Um, people that also run through this program, um, which is a mentoring platform, are five times more likely to be promoted. So it's a win-win. Um, where there's a big gap is competing. SME, mid-market, competing for talent uh, because they don't have the dollars, they may not have the resources. So what we've done is we've identified um, another business that we've built. Um, it'll go live July, August called Job Tail. Job tail, if you were searching for people, Kerry, or anyone on, on this uh, video today, if you were searching for people, you could use job tail. You would be prompted to um, build a job ad, share it with your network. 70% of all jobs filled are uh, found through referral and network. So um, this is a really effective means of following templates, the prompts, filling in the data, sharing it with your uh, network, um, uploading it to social sites and um, and finding the candidate that you need. For the candidate, it is a great experience. So the candidate get bombarded. They might be signed up for different job boards with alerts. They, they're getting calls from recruitment agencies. They um, they see a job, bad job has ever changed in terms of format for, for 20 years. Um, they're often missing sentences, missing words. They've been recut, reformatted and don't make a lot of sense. They don't describe the company or the culture so well. So what typically happens, a candidate will see a job spec, they'll leave, they'll go to the website, and in that time their phone might ring. Ah, they, they might get, get emails, they've got to respond, they get distracted, they drop off. 80% of candidates drop off in the application process. So what job tail tends to do is it doesn't give them an excuse to leave the page. Um, we, we provide all the content, or the hiring manager does, provides all the content. Um, so the candidate looks, they read, so they can apply, they can schedule an interview within um, given time slots that are available. We're super excited by this um, product and we think that uh, well, the feedback so far has been really positive. We've signed up 70 plus customers for MVP, minimal viable product and testing and learning. And um, that's, that's um, put in a credit card and you're away. So anyone can access. So that's that'll be very, very scalable and high growth. And can I interrupt you for a moment to ask, yes. is this going to then, I guess, do away with all those other, so we won't mention names, but those other large job boards which have made an awful lot of money, not just for shareholders, but across the board over the years. Is this a bit of a game changer? Because as you said earlier, the market really hasn't changed, but there's some big companies out there that are in this HR job market. Is Jobtail taking that and saying, we're moving into the 21st century, guys? We're certainly moving into the 21st century and we're giving control back to organisations. So they've got better choice. So, so if I'm a hiring manager, I put in credit card, I commit to... Um, you know, I can pull out at any time. I, I can, I'm not locked in forever. Um, my job stays open. I don't have to renew it. I'm not hit with additional fees. Um, so it's more affordable. It's more affordable than what's currently in market. And we think it's more fit for purpose. Um, and uh, given given 70% of jobs are filled through network and referral, um, it's, 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 you know, it's a pretty powerful proposition. It, what you know, let, let's be honest, we're, we're not going to um, replace, replace, you know, everyone out there in the industry. We're not about that. We're providing a, an alternative option for organisations yep. to access that better suits their needs. I'm curious about the name, Brendan. Job. Are you? Well, I, we put I've got to ask, because job tail. Okay, wag the tail. <laughs> um, tell your story. So this is about telling your story to the market. So... Um, through a job ad, a really well constructed job ad. So, um, you know, I mentioned before, job ads haven't changed. Typically, it's title, position, yep. duties, tasks, responsibilities. That's it. Often, not always, but often, a lot of thought hasn't gone into that. Yeah. Um, this is about this. We can upload video. We can show people about the team. Say hello. What are they joining? What are the benefits of working here? And all that can be done and communicated very quickly in the 30-second grab. 
with words around it to describe. So job is this, tale, is tell your story. Live, is this live now? Can people go and say, oh, let me check this out? Because I'm sitting here going, I want to check it out. Um, it's not live. Um, we've got a, uh, a a site that people can sign up for for uh, trial. Oh yeah. Um, so jobtail.co. Um, so J O B T A L E T A L E dot C O. Yeah, I'm just going to check that. Um, just do you mind? Do you mind? I just don't want to give out that's, the wrong information. That's that's what our little chit chats are always about. Because while he's checking that out, ladies and gentlemen, really interesting, isn't it? Jobtail T A L E dot co, which is what we hope it is. Um, it's possibly going to change the 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 landscape for how people um, go out and find. And as as Brendan said a moment ago, it was all about you know people get it through referral. And I agree, some of these uh, sites out there are a little bit, what, what would I say about them? A, co- a little bit cold, if you like, and a, a little bit too much, if you like. So uh, is it jobtail.co? It is. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, go there, J O B T A L E.co, and you can check out what they're doing. So, gr- I know growth is super important to you, Brendan. So yes, it is. where's that coming from? Is it across the board with all sectors? All four. So let, let me tell you, um, so Jobtail is entrepreneurial. Um, we're super excited about it. We think that we think it's a new category and it will certainly change uh, the way organisations can recruit, gives them an extra yeah. option. Art of Mentoring we, we, was an acquisition um, t- October 2020. Art of Mentoring is a technology-enabled solutions um, platform. Um and not only is it a platform, but it also comes with um, heavily curated content, um, which trains people how to be a, a great mentor and gives access to different programs. This, this um, our shareholders are delighted with. Our shareholders, board of management, hold 36% of the company. So we're, we're heavily incentivized to um, ensure that we make this business every success that we believe it can. Art of mentoring is really leading the way in this field. So, you know, year on year, they would have grown uh, top line revenue by around 80%. Um, okay. And uh, we've grown and it's well documented. We've grown into the US. Um, we've been really well received over there. We've signed up some great channel partners. HI.com is one, uh, 19 million members. And we'll be uh, basing our um, CEO and founder over uh, in Austin, Texas. So um, we went on a discovery trip earlier this year. It was really well received. Our pipeline has tripled um, in that business um, for the same time period last year, moving into the financial year. So well, look, we're, we're really excited um, by this business. It's uh, really leading the way. And um, our shareholders today are very excited about, about the proposition of this business alone and what it has to offer. Um, I just want to go into the fourth one, then I have a lot of questions for you. Um, the utility software services uh, that uh, is really billing for the utilities area, mm. it seems to me that Apply Direct, Art of Mentoring, Jobtail are all around that sort of recruitment personnel, if you like, and then we go across to the utility software services it, it, why why is that part of the group if you like oh look we, we're a um a portfolio business okay. so um you know as it happens we, we've applied direct was the original business so that's that in the um, staffing staffing technology space job tile and mentoring is all around development and retention so we've got the two bookends in that business so that it, that makes sense um utilities billing um came in good revenue, sticky customer base, um, billing platform uh, made sense um, and still really important part of our business in terms of providing the cash flow, um, the customer and, you know, niche SaaS services. So having a balanced or diverse portfolio, um, being a uh, SaaS business is, is really important, particularly as we invest in emerging businesses like a job tail. Um, ha- having stability, you know, secure business there, um, cloud-based CRM complementary from a technology perspective um, just provides a different service. Okay, so Brendan, talk to me. I know that you've said to me in the past growth is super important. 
where do you see the growth? Talk to, talk to us about numbers. I've got a, a community out there that are looking at this. The ASX code, as I said before, is 81. And they're looking at going, well, where's the growth? Where's the opportunity? What's the investment thesis? Yes, sure. So if we look at uh, the last couple of years, um, we've doubled in revenue. Um, we've we've Our board has changed completely. Management across the group has changed completely. The last 12 months, we've invested heavily in product um, and also, you know, customer relationships and personnel. So as a result of that, we're heading into the new financial year with a very, very strong pipeline. Okay. Um, of new customers across each of the businesses. So, you know, um, Apply Direct, Strong, we've recently re-signed New South Wales Government. We've got more in the pipeline there in terms of new customers. Um, Jobtail, launch, will launch late July, August, out, out of Mint, and we've got 70 plus custom, you know, potential customers who have committed to sign up there. So we're expecting that to um, be a strong entrance into market. Out of Mentoring, as I mentioned, um, very, very big pipeline, uh, bigger than it's ever been and growing year on year very, very quickly. Um, we continue to invest in staff, in, in product and, you know, growing revenue well. Um, and utility software services, we've got um, new customers in pipeline as well. So, look, um, four businesses all ready to grow um at the moment does that answer the question Karen? yeah um I, I guess the the question i've got there's there's a number of questions i always have lots um but just thinking it through apply direct was was where you started uh you with new south wales victoria government that's bringing in revenue what sort of revenues are you looking at with apply direct and that's number one number two is there's also tasmanian government queensland government WA, Northern Territory, uh, are they, now that you've got those two big governments, are you looking at the others? Yeah, look, so the government is really important. Um, and, um, you know, we've got, uh, our, we haven't talked about our business model, but it, typically there's, a, depending on which business, but an implementation fee, and then it's a subscription-based model, so ongoing monthly revenue. Um, so lifetime value of the customers, you know, across the board range from, you know, 120k to a million dollar plus to, to you know what could be well even more than that so um really really sticky government's great um it's uh, a longer sales cycle um so we're, we're wanting to and shareholders want us to grow fast so um SaaS should be a scalable business model that's typically an entry point is um you know, affordable, particularly for the market that you're servicing. So that's where Jobtail comes in. And um, that, that's mid-market. We're aiming that at, uh, you know, the SME to mid-market that don't necessarily have the resources to put behind, you know, massive hiring campaigns. And Jobtail will enable them to be able to compete at a good price point and hugely scalable business. Art of mentoring, um, revenues there look they've 80 percent year on year um we're expecting that to business to uh repeat um in the next 12 months and again small upfront fee implementation and then subscription so it's so, like a, so it's like a license fee to begin with it's like we need to get this in there's there's some work around that and after yep. that it's it's what a, a monthly so yeah monthly fee that's right so it's um people online might know this is um annual recurring revenue yep well they might know it as annuity um so uh by the annuity. way it's money in the bank every month which is good so i want to know are you guys profitable at the moment uh we're we're um we're, we're on our way to profitability um we're um fy23 will be um you know a good good year for us where each of the businesses um we're, we're planning to be profitable why the move into the us brendan demand um, so it, so demand for product, we, we, um, across 26 different countries, um, North, North America, um, the staffing business particularly, um, is very progressive. Um, they're also very, um, you know, what we've found is the interest in the mentoring product, huge, because it's all around staff development and retention. Um, and, uh, we've, we've so been heavily you- supported. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. How does it work with HR.com? Because that's who you've partnered with. How does yeah. that work? Do they take a portion of, of the revenue stream or? 
What's yeah, so we're, we're actually, so first of all, it was about putting in a, a program, um, so designing a program for them and, uh, and rolling that out across their teams. We're in other discussions with them now. And so part, part of our go-to-market strategy is to uh, leverage channel partners and, res and form reseller partnerships, um, which we've started to do when we've got. And that's to enable, for example, uh, HR director consultants to go into organisations with tools to be able to support the growth of an organisation. So, um, you know, a great mentoring program and, and different mentoring programs um, range. So it can be, um, I was looking at a video yesterday that had been produced and it's, it was about reverse, mar reverse peer marketing where um, it could be leadership team being educated around the importance of diversity um, and, okay. and the impact that their language might have in reinforcing values that we're trying to move away from. So the, the, some of these programs, um, you know, like, and I've got a list here, um, cross-gender mentoring programs, women's programs, reverse mentoring, Indigenous mentoring, leadership, ethical, high potential, talent but isn't it easy enough for somebody else to do exactly what you're doing what's the no. barrier of entry um content expertise and and these platforms aren't easy to develop either so um you know product you've the people that built these the, the, our co-founders um had many many years experience in the industry and um and are also big influences globally in terms of mentoring. So we've got external parties that contribute to content. Um, so content and the IP that we have there, very, very big differentiator. Well, we're running out of time, my friend. So I could talk to you for ages. There's so much to, to unpack here. And it sounds to me like 81, really there's a big growth uh, partner. And as you said earlier, that you're heavily incentivized, you know, you're, you're a shareholder and you're running this as a business, if you like. But I need to find out from you, as I always ask my interviewees, I want to know three reasons why our beautiful community out there needs to sit up and take notice of 81 Holdings right now, because I didn't, was not aware before this conversation of exactly how, what you were doing, and the growth pipeline sounds really interesting. So give us the three reasons. Yeah, so we've been flying under the radar, Kerry, um, oh. and we're just starting to come out now. But the first point is, I'd say, is uh, we're in a really hot market. Um, we're really well placed to um, help organisations get control back of their hiring okay. and, and educate them on how to retain through staff development, through the mentoring programs. So that, that's one. And that's evidenced by growing pipeline and new customers coming on board. Um, two, we've mentioned it, but I can't underemphasize it, is border management are heavily incentivized, having 36% of shares on issue. Um, and we want to make this work for all shareholders. So, um, you know, we're a thinly traded stock. Um, we believe we're undervalued, and uh, but I'll let people figure that out for themselves. And up until now, and maybe for a little bit longer, but we'd be much more proactive in, in letting the market know about what we're doing and, and the story that we are creating. Um, but we've largely gone unnoticed and um, it's now time for uh, people to have the opportunity to see what, you know, what we are doing, the difference that we are making out there and uh, to get on board and support us Well, and, I, and get I, a win along the way. Yeah, absolutely. And I really appreciate you coming on to Small Caps as well, one of your first, uh, I guess, forays into letting the market know what 81 Holdings are doing. It sounds really exciting. And I, for one, I'm going to go check out Job Talent. Not looking for a job. Philip from Small Caps, but I just think it's fascinating. It's a disruptor to the market. This is software as a service. It's the future. It's dragging things into the 21st century. Congratulations, Brendan. Sounds like things are going to be hotting up. Well, we, we, we hope so, Kerry, and uh, thanks, thanks for your time today.